Hey there guys, how's it going? And welcome to a video where I'm going to be showcasing to you what is probably the craziest thing I've ever seen on Ark Survival Evolved. This is a mod called Anunnaki. Now, this is actually my own server uh, that is public. You guys can come and join in. If you've got Ark on the PC, all you need is the Anunnaki mod and you can come and join this server. I'll put links for how you guys can join it and information on how you guys can join in in the description of the video. Also, you can join my Discord channel to keep up to date uh, with all the latest news of what we're up to so here we are on the center this mod i'll be honest i don't know as much as i could about anunnaki normally when i record and one of the reasons i haven't played anunnaki is i like to know a lot about what i'm doing and then i show it to you guys it's almost like a bit informational as well as a bit of fun playing through but this one i don't know too much i'm just gonna learn with you guys and everything i have seen is absolutely ridiculous so it should be super super fun i'll be running this alongside my xbox one server or not xbox one play for even on the center as was my survival of the fittest video so i'll show you where i am on the map this is a really cool place let's get some light on that this is to the southeast of the south jungle so if you want to come and play on here you want to come and build come and build next to us uh my tribe here is going to be building on the top here but it'll be well be absolutely awesome if you guys would build down here i was thinking down here we could have like a, a viewer slash subscriber city down there and we could make something really really cool now, Anunnaki has a huge amount of custom and new stuff inside of it. Not only are there different dinos of different sizes, there's new bosses, and this is getting a little bit close, my liking, uh, but there's also brand new stuff to craft. If I have a little look at my engrams over here, uh, you'll see down the bottom, if you go down here, all of this stuff from here and downwards uh, is brand new stuff for Anunnaki. You can actually tame alpha dinos. It's got its own workbench. You've got all these custom new tools and stuff. Level 100 things all of that kind of stuff that I, I don't even know about this stuff I've been learning from my friends how this all works but it looks absolutely crazy you can see here I've got this javelin uh, which is like a spear that does torpor which is super super cool oh what's this here is just one of the beavers and uh, yeah my friends have been working on some tames at the moment my team is just me and the other admins and we've been just messing around uh, and I went to bed I mean I made this I went to bed and I wake up in the morning and they've got all these tames which is absolutely Absolutely crazy so let's have a little look at what we've got obviously as you can see you get crazy high level dinos on Anunnaki I don't know the highest level but casually got ourselves a level 500 plus Raptor as you can see over 3k health nearly 600% melee damage you might think well that's kind of overkill but you need this stuff there's things called I think they're called the wardens which are like end game bosses that are absolutely beastly plus all the other dinos are high level so it's really difficult uh, to kill wild stuff now here we go this is the kind of crazy thing i was talking about this is a badass dodicarus and not only does it look absolutely cool i think it does like fire damage or something like that but look at the size of it you don't realize until i get on top of it look how absolutely huge this thing is i mean it's nearly the size of a stegosaurus there it's basically about the same size as a track and that just looks so so cool so i think you get all different sizes of all the different dinos and i know this is definitely one of the most requested things that people want to see on xbox this anunnaki mod um i don't think you'll be seeing it. i'll be very surprised if this ends up coming out for xbox because it just it's absolutely crazy like the balance on it is all over the place but it's so much fun also we seem to have a giga no saddle though i don't think anyone in my tribe is high enough level for that oh look at these argents i wonder what level these argents are actually they might be super high level let's see if we can grab a little look at this wow 330 oh my word i don't know if i can tame that now, if you're wondering about gather rates, taming and XP on here, because you want to come and play, I think I've got it times three XP and gather, and I've got it times five taming. So the taming speed is kind of quick, uh, but it's not so quick that you're not going to need kibble. And especially for these super higher level things, you're probably going to need to uh, have kibble. Although, to be fair, that Argent's high level, but I think that Giga might take care of things if I need him to. Let's see, actually, he might be on passive. Let's have a little look. He is on attacking target. All right, let's just put him on neutral. I mean, you'll probably get kited off the edge there, but oh well. Now, this is the other crazy thing that I saw this morning I didn't know was in here. Look at this. This is a Mesopithecus, but the size of it, it's bigger than the ape. This is absolutely awesome. You can actually attack with it as well. Look, listen to this. Rawr. 
Oh, it's coming for me. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. Also, I've got this on. Uh-oh. The Rex is getting involved. Oh, yeah. Everything that's on uh, neutral is getting involved here. <laughs> but look at those. Oh, whoa. That thing does 3,000 damage every year. That is super cool. So, yeah, I mean, I was told that this is actually a setting. Oh, my no, my Pteranodon. I'm sure it'll come back. Oh, well, we'll get another one. <laughs> we'll get another one. At least I'll tell that to my tribe mates. Um, yeah, so as you can see, when I do damage to something... Look at that. You can throw the poop. I can't concentrate. There's so many new things. Yo, Pteranodon, come back. Come back. I'm overweight here. Let me get rid of some of this stuff. Um, oh, damn, I'm not carrying anything that heavy. This thing doesn't have very good carry weight. Yo, yo, just passive. Just passive. Uh, and let me follow me. Come on, follow. Right, okay, and then come over here. Yeah, yeah, wreck it. <laughs> but yeah, oh god, what was I saying? What was I saying? Yeah, the um, the damage numbers. That is super, super cool. There you go, attack the Rex. That'll take care of you. Go on, Rexy, get him. Oh, as soon as I just did a passive whistle. All right, let's just do a quick neutral whistle. Woo! Okay, and there it's dead. Woo! Passive, okay. See, as you can see, the actual damage numbers come up when you uh, hit something, which I think is an absolutely awesome idea. Can I? Oh my god, you can jump with this as well. That is so cool. Oh, and I've got the train on following me. Okay, let's take the train on back. But yeah, the damage numbers, I thought it was something from Anunnaki, but my friends were telling me that that's a setting that I've got on the server. So I don't know if it's an Anunnaki thing. Apparently, it's just a server setting thing, which is uh, kind of cool. But we have got a Quetzal as well, and I, I do want an Argent to fly about on. That would be kind of cool. Oh, we've got a Triceratops over here. Let's get this back. Let's see if we can... Yeah, let's get him over here. But, damn, this is super cool. You can actually ride a Mesopithecus. This, I actually want this to just be my thing. How fast is this? Movement speed, 200%. Yeah, I guess this is a pretty fast version. Here comes the track. So, first episode. I don't really know what I'm doing on here. I don't know how difficult it is to survive. And I'm probably going to go out and die. So, I'm going to find myself like a... Um, maybe I'll just fly that Pteranodon. I mean, I'm sure we can get another one, right? Let's uh, stop that. And we'll go have a little look around. We'll see what's available. But let's have a little look inside of the smithy first. Because I believe my buddies have been making some gear that I can have. Ah, oh, yeah. Here we go. This is better than normal stuff. Now, what we've got here. Anunnaki Poison Dart. More effective than Anunnaki Poison Arrow. Can only be used with a long neck rifle. All right. I guess we want some of those. Um, are there any long neck rifles in here? Because I'm not sure if I've learned the rifle i oh, know i'm nowhere near high enough all right i'm not gonna waste those uh so let's see if there may be anything else oh let's take these uh because they could be kind of useful and some grap oh, only one grappling cook mm, maybe not um hmm what we've got we've got stimulant we've got energy brew hmm da -da -da. yeah unfortunately i'm not high enough level yet to have learned a lot of this stuff or what can I have learnt here? Oh, I haven't even learnt, like, hired and stuff. Let's learn some of this stuff. A lesser antidote. I've actually got diseases off on this server, if you were wondering, which I'm sure a lot of you are going to be glad about. Um, let's... I don't... Yeah, I guess I'm going to need to learn this stuff eventually. So let's just learn all of that. Uh, crossbow. Right, we're only up to here. So I guess to go level... So I didn't really do much leveling last night. To go and level, I could go out and just start killing stuff and whatever. So let's see if there's anything else. Damn, they've got some powders or whatever. Oh, I know what we'll go and do. Let's go and... Hang on, do I need this? I don't need this one. Let's put that away. Let's go and get some drops, which would be kind of cool thing to do. Because apparently the drops are cooler in this as well. I'm going to put my crossbow there instead. Um, what kind of arrows are in this? Let's have a little look. Is this normal arrows? Yeah, it looks like normal arrows. Right, let's take that Pteranodon. Let's go get some of the drops and let's see what they have. Because obviously, apparently they're quite different on uh, Anunnaki. But I've got no idea what they're like. Let's, let's get some movement speed going on here. So, let's go and have a look. See what we can find. Maybe we'll find something super cool. Alrighty, first drop here. This is a blue drop. Let's have a look. I think you've got to be level 30 for the blue drop. So, this might actually be something okay. I've got to be careful though, because... Everything is super light, high level around here. So even a dillo could be a problem. Oh, I've got a shotgun. Nice. What one is this? A rare shotgun. Damn, how powerful is that? Weapon damage, 126%. I'll take all of this stuff. Polymer's always useful. 
Uh, I'm not going to take the metal because I need to carry heavy stuff. But yeah, the rest of that stuff's cool. The birthday thing. And let's just drop that. So yeah, pretty impressed with that. Unfortunately, I don't have any ammo for that shotgun. So most of the stuff I can't use right now. But yeah, pretty good. This makes me want to go and do some more drop hunting. So let's have a look around. See if we can find another one. Oh, by the way, I don't think I mentioned in the beginning of this video. Uh, or if you haven't noticed so far. But this is a PvE server. So if you guys want to come play on here, don't worry about people wrecking your stuff too much. Obviously, I'm an admin and we'll help sort out any problems that you have but yeah it's pve just in case you didn't know but yeah let's have a little look around see if we can find some more drops right next up a green drop at the center and i normally wouldn't be too excited about this but this is anunnaki and everything you find seems to be absolutely awesome also i'm a little bit worried about super high level stuff being around here whoa look at that like an army of sabers over there oh we've got an alpha right next to it this isn't good lose what level is this Level 76? Is the Alpha Raptor 76? Yeah, okay. Um, should be okay. Oh, there's another Alpha just there. Damn, this is really busy here. Now, I've got to be careful. I've got to be... Can't be too overconfident. Right, let's try and be quick with this one. Um, right, Stimulant. A common track saddle. I'm not going to take that. Doesn't seem like it's going to be worth it. Let's just get rid of that. Okay, not too amazing that one, but it was a green one. And I don't want to stick around here because there's a lot of dangerous things around here. So let's go fly around. See if we can find ourselves um, some more blue drops really. Because I'm only level 30, so I can only get blue drops and uh, downwards. So let's see if we can find some. All right, another blue drop, which is good. But this is the snow biome, and it is absolutely freezing. There's a lot of dangerous things around here. T-Rexes, wolves. You see them just walking around there. Let's take a second, make sure I'm not going to get attacked. Careful, and let's go for it. Here we go. What we got? Ah, oh, shotgun shells. That's good uh, for my shotgun. A common parasa saddle. Uh, I guess we could take that blueprint. Oh, and a ghillie suit. Nice, not bad at all, not bad at all. So now I can arm myself with my shotgun, which is actually a rare shotgun. So this is serious business. And 11 shotgun shells, so I'm looking pretty good. Damn, look how spooky it looks when it gets all dark and stuff. 115 mammoth, all that stuff's kind of normal. I should really just drop the rest of it out as well so that we can get another one spawning. And uh, yeah, good finds, good finds. I'm going to go find one more, and then we might go have a look around for something to tame. Ooh, we found a Quetzal. I wonder what level this is. Ah, level 48. Just a normal one. Just a normal one. I don't know if every single dino ends up having a super high level version. That would be really cool if it does. Because uh, I would like a super high level version. If any of you guys know what the top level is for something you can find on this mod, let me know. But let's have a look around. See a, a green one over there. And I think it's another green one in the distance. Let's go get those. And then I think we'll head back. And tame ourselves with some of these beastly things. So many beastly things around here. Oh, it's a rhino. Oh, look at that white wolf. Did you see that? Damn, that thing looks awesome. Pure white wolf. I think the red ones are the uh, rest. Oh, it's a level 150 there somewhere. I'm not sure what one. Oh, it's a saber. <laughs> Joining in on the fun. Right, anyway, let's not get too distracted. Let's get some of these drops and then let's go tame. Ah, now these blue drops, I really, really want them, but they're out in the middle of the ocean. And this being Anunnaki, I don't really want to risk going out to the middle of the ocean uh, just for a drop. But what that makes me think is I need myself, I need myself a Megalodon or something. Now, we've got these Trank Spears. I don't know if it's a good idea to go into the water and just start trying to trank out stuff like that. Let's make sure there's nothing too dangerous around here. Kind of looks okay. Caught Rhino, I want a Rhino. That Wow, 200, 265. Oh wow! You, so you can actually passive tame uh, almost anything in the game if it's higher, if it's actually like an Anunnaki version of it instead of just a, a normal low-level one, which is cool. But I can't see any megalodons around here. I might—I don't know if I've even got megalodon saddle. It might be a waste of my time. Let's have a look. Um, I'm quite low level at the moment. No, I don't. Oh my word! Okay, uh, I've got itchy saddle though, right? I mean, I think itchy saddle is quite low. But these things are really annoying to tame. Ah, that's how you spell it, isn't it? Itchy? I don't know. Hmm. Let's put in saddle and then we'll see what we can learn so far. Fiomia Parasaur. Oh, it's IC. Hmm. Level 8. Yeah, I could get one of those, but they're quite annoying to tame, actually. So, and I can't see any of those around here either. Let's have a little look. Other than a water dino, it's not really worth me taming anything around here. This is a long way from my base. Let's have a look down here. 
Mm, uh, nothing to tame here by the looks of it. So I'm just going to hop on out of here. Let's get a bit closer to home and see if there's any drops, anything to tame around there. Oh, look at this. We've got a female badass raptor. Level 70. What is he doing there? Is he attacking another raptor? I've not seen that before. That looks super cool. It's like an ice one. I'm guessing it does cold damage. What is it attacking? It's attacking a galley that just doesn't seem to care. But I kind of want this. So let's see if we can knock this out. The lion are not a little bit scared of it. You've got to keep your wits about you. You've got to keep your wits about you on Anunnaki. But it looks so cool. I must try and have this. Oh, God, lag. We do get lag every 15 minutes on this server. It's like most servers. Every 15 minutes, it does a save. And it lags a little bit. Uh oh, where's it gone? Where? Where? Oh, oh here he is. Oh, no, stay there. Don't come up. Oh, I hit it. Nice. Woohoo! Bam! Ah, oh, missed. This is going to be tricky. He's fast. Oh, my word. This is going to be tricky. Yeah, stay there. Ah, oh, no, didn't hit it. That hit detection. If you st Whoa, 105. Nice. So the Raptor definitely does have a headshot bonus. Let's see if we can throw one of these at it. <gasps> Boop! And he's down. Beautiful. All right. Let's see if we can get taming this thing. Let's uh, go down here. I guess I could kill that Rex for Prime. Now, it's not an incredible level, Raptor, but who cares? Because look at it. It's, um, freaking awesome looking. Let's actually move that because I keep using the wrong thing there. I kind of want to use this shotgun on that Rex over there. But I should probably try and kill it uh, with the Pteranodon first. Whoa, look at that. It's a Spino. Oh, my God. That is so cool. Right, we're going to get that Spino eventually. We're not at Spino level. One thing at a time. Let's just try and get this badass thing. I love that. I absolutely love this, like, confirmation that you're doing the damage. It's so good. 200 damage. Obviously, this thing's going to have, you know, at least 3,000 health or something. So, it's going to take a few spins. Oh, wow. This thing does huge torpor damage. Oh, no. I didn't know that. Look at the torpor. Quick, 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 quick. Get away, get away, get away, get away before it falls unconscious. Oh, my word. Ah, right, okay, so these things do torpor damage. That is scary. That is scary. All right, maybe I don't want to take that on. Because that hit me once and nearly knocked me out. Maybe I could shotgun it? I think that would actually knock out my character as well if it's... Whew, yeah, that's kind of scary, to be honest. I didn't know that. Maybe I can just, like... Because I'm barrel rolling it, I should be able to get away with not really... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, and the raptor's up. The raptor's up. Oh, my God, my thing's going to fall unconscious. It's going to fall unconscious. Let's get safe. Let's get safe. Okay, this seems a safe place to fall unconscious. Kind of. Oh, my God. Right, I massively have underestimated this. The raptor woke up straight away. And that thing is so close to actually uh, knocking out my pteranodon. Right, I'm a... Uh, I've learned my lesson. I'm not ready. I'm not ready yet to take on T-Rexes. Um, I think I'm just going to have to work on the base a little bit. Level up my character a little bit. This is not good enough at all. Let's uh, let's work on a few things here. Or maybe I could take my Giga. Oh, it doesn't have a saddle, does it? Hmm, or maybe I could take my badass T-Rex. How much Torpor do you have? 52,000. Damn. Okay. Let's add a little health. Looking good, looking good. Right, okay. Well, that scared me. I'm not going to lie. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do a little bit of base stuff. I need to level a bit more. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this lifestyle. Let's see if I've unlocked any of the um, Anunnaki stuff that's down here. What have we got? Unlocked Alpha Terror Bird Saddle. A Lance. Hmm, is that better than a Pike? A strong mellow weapon that knocks out your opponent. Uh, and it's tipped with poison. Hmm. Okay. Can I be crafted an Anunnaki workbench? And an Anunnaki poison arrow. Well, it sounds like I need these in my life. That's for sure. Let's try and make those. And we'll try and use them. So we've got the pike. Um, can you make the arrow here? Anunnaki poison arrow. And it needs 10 narco berries. Fiber as well. So I just need to go get some narco berries for that. For this, I need ingots, wood, and narcotic. Um, I don't actually have a lot of narcotic, which is kind of sick. So, yeah, let's get all the stuff I need here. Then we'll get making some of this cool new stuff. Okay, I've got myself a lance. And in here as well, there's some, like, armor. I think I should have some of this armor. 
walking around with rubbish stuff. And look, it looks like guys have been getting some uh, proper good weapons from drops as well. So, we have got a fabricator though. I think we need to make that fabricator soon. Although, I don't think I'm high enough level. Oh, and I'll take an epic shield as well. Why not? That'll look cool. Oh, these are good. Look, a rare flat helmet. Armor 230. Let's just use this one. I don't want to get take all the best stuff, seeing as I didn't get it. I don't think everyone would be too happy with me if I took all the best stuff. So let's put some of that on. Nice bit of armor. Okay, I want to make some of these arrows. These arrows here. Right, let's try 10. What do I need for more? Um, I think it might be fiber, actually, that I'm a little bit short on. That's not too difficult to get a little bit more fiber. Uh, let's put these arrows in the crossbow. I'm presuming they go in. They do. That is nice. Right, there must be some fibre around here, actually. This is, um, there's always fibre around, if you have a look. Oh, we've got an egg as well. There's quite a few things I didn't know we had, which is the nice thing about playing in a tribe. Any fibre. The one thing you want. Fibre. And there is none of it. Oh, we've already got narcotic, and I've been making a load like a, like an idiot. There's got to be some fibre in here. Always some fibre in a smithy there we go right let's make as many as we can another 13 that looks good now i don't know how much torpor damage these things do but i presume it's going to be quite a lot so should be pretty good while that does that let me make myself a metal hatchet i don't think there's one in here nope yeah we're looking pretty smart right now let's get a metal hatchet oh no hold on i need to grab it out of there uh, metal hatchet beautiful let's put that on there and we've got the arrows in there yep that is nice uh, let's actually just swap that out for that um i've got quite low like food consumption whatever on this server, uh, so i think i'm okay we're gonna need any meat i've really lowered the food consumption and the um water consumption because i kind of think that that's a bit like annoying having to deal with that all the time not as much fun as doing everything else so let's have a look see if we can try this on something that's not too ridiculous and isn't gonna one shot us a paraceratherium perhaps don't really want one of those got another raptor there female no oh, maybe a female something that the eggs are useful from oh, we've got another rex there a female rex i think i'm ready for that one let's move a little bit down here so this is where I think all you guys should build around this lake. It'll be pretty sweet to see like a little group of people starting to build around there. Let's have a look. We've got a stego. Stego eggs are useful. Is it female? It is. And it's level 110. All right. This would be a good test for this thing. Um, I do have it on times five taming, which is going to be quite slow. But. Ah, yes. Nice. Oh, that looks really cool. There's like an effect as well. Right. See if we can hit this absolutely in love with this confirmation when you hit it now i don't know if this will mean it will trank out super quick but we'll see i think i've done four or five so far stegos generally go down quite quick which is uh always nice and convenient oh is it going down i think it's gone down let's have a look no it's still chilling still chilling all right let's get down here with it um hop. yep hit it and hit it again hit it one more time before we move 43 that time stegos are one of the dinos that do have a pretty decent uh headshot multiplier oh it's down it's down beautiful right so it worked i mean these arrows pretty good this was a very high level stego um whether i'm gonna have the patience to sit here and tame this i'm not sure i'm not sure um i don't know if there's any like super food or anything i can get for this but you know I'm just gonna have to get some berries and we'll see if i can uh, sit here and chill oh no is this thing coming for me no it's fine it's not coming for me it's mega new all right let's get some berries let's start trying to tame it actually i might go back to base and get some berries off of the trike because uh it's only times three gather, so you don't actually get a lot of berries here. And this thing's going to need quite a few. So let's go back and get some mayos, and then we shall return. Well, that stego was taking all day to tame. So I think I'm just not going to bother with that stego tame today. Not really something I can do while recording. I think I might live stream a bit of this or something, or just do it while I'm not recording. But let's have a little check what's going on here. This is obviously the beginnings of a little greenhouse. Eventually, it'll be a greenhouse to grow some crops. But we've got seeds. We've got no fertilizer. So, ah, the dung beetle was making some fertilizer. I think I need to. I think the dung beetle was actually running off i need to go check on the dung beetle oh, damn. i think you can pick up dung beetles now as well but i swear i saw it hmm where is he 
can't see. oh here he is right i better grab this i better grab this <laughs> oh i would this thing looks absolutely huge in my hands that's what she said anyway let's uh put it back inside <laughs> Put it back inside. Have you got any fertilizer for me yet, buddy? And we can start these crops going. He does have a couple of fertilizer. Have I got some poops for him, though? Oh, he's got some oil as well. Let's get a couple of poops. I've got a Fiomia around here, so there's got to be some poops around here somewhere. Um, Fiomia, here we go. Uh, I see a poop. Nope, that is not a poop. That is a dodo. Come on, mate. Ah, oh, he can't move. He's too heavy. Yeah, damn it. All right, let's move everything else out of the way. Come on. Roll. <laughs> he can't roll. Nothing can move. Right, I'm going to have to do some individual whistles here. Here we go, guys. Follow me. Follow me. Beautiful. Right, and now we can get Sophia. There's a poop right there. I don't think my uh, thing can actually um, hold many poops anyway, my dung beetle. So let's just give him a few. And then we'll have to set that up going for the next episodes. Yeah, I will also be streaming this as well, guys, alongside doing my Xbox stuff as well. I think this is super awesome. And normally I play with some friends as well, so it'll be quite a full, uh, cool watching a group of us do all this kind of stuff. And there you go. He is full. Let's go pop some of that fertilizer in the um, bins over there. In the, well, not the bins, in the large things. Oh, I actually wanted to have it here. I might reposition it over here because this is quite far away. I don't have to walk all this way just to get to my crops. Let's just, let's get these going anyway. I guess we can always have uh, two of these things going. Let's put two in one and let's just start off with one going. But anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Really appreciate the support. I hope you guys like this new series on Anunnaki. Like I said, you guys can come and play on this server. It would be absolutely awesome to have some of you playing on here as well. And uh, obviously join my Discord for updates. But that's it for now, guys. I'll see you all next time.